Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm just going to show you how I painted my Nintendo Switch dock. I did this using acrylic paints um, and like some acrylic paint markers so yeah I will show you the process along the way and I really hope that you will enjoy this video. mention originally I was going to keep the Nintendo Switch sign as you can see in that first clip I did like go around it in white however in the end I did just decide to paint over it so I just thought I'd throw that in there you can see me doing that right now <laughs> needy Luna who's come to join me whilst I'm painting. She always likes sitting on my lap whilst I'm painting and like watching what I'm doing and she just can't seem to understand like what is it she's doing with that brush? But yeah she sits me for a while and then she had enough and decided to leave. I did about three layers all together of the pink. Here it is the next morning once I've let it dry overnight. I'm now just gonna paint the top bit of the docking station um, and then I'll get on to adding a bit more detail. So as you can see, I have decided not to paint over Pikachu and Eevee. I've decided to keep them as they were and just paint the background, so the black bit. Reason being is because I just didn't want to ruin the whole like Pokemon aesthetic vibe, you know? And I do think that they are really cute and the way they're just kind of floating, which is why I've gone for this cloud theme. I just thought because they're floating anyway, well they look like they're floating to me, that they would look even cuter if they were floating on some little clouds. So yeah, I'm just outlining some clouds using my acrylic paint pen um, and then I will go in and fill them in with some paint. However, the colour that I will be using in the next clip, I decided not to actually go with that colour just because I felt like it blended in a bit too much, but you'll see that shortly. I did outline them with like a pink metallic paint but then I decided that I actually don't like that so I've just gone over it with white and then I did decide to just change the colour of the clouds completely as I mentioned earlier as I just wanted a bit more of a contrast and I felt that the pink was just kind of blending into the background a little bit too much. I 
just finished filling in the clouds purple I'm really liking how it's looking I have also added a few little stars that I am going to come back to and fill in yellow just waiting for that purple to dry down so that I can then outline the clouds and then also add a little bit more detail to them I am also just waiting for a new case to come for my actual switch because the one I have at the moment is kind of ugly and I'm just not feeling it so once that comes in the post today I will be showing you that as well so this is the case that I've currently got on it at the moment it's just like one of them silicon cases that kind of just slip over it I mean it's okay and it does kind of protect it but I just want something that is a bit more cute you know and it also annoys me because this one like it gets really like furry and fluffy because of the silicon everything just kind of sticks to it so yeah once that new case comes i can give it like a whole new look and it's going to look so cute and pastel i hope anyway <laughs> So I've just finished painting it, I'm really happy with how it's come out. Um, there are a few details that I've done off camera just because I needed to be like really close to it and have a really steady hand and I was just in front of the camera the whole time and you couldn't see what I was doing. But basically I just added some stars around here, like outlined the clouds added a few highlights in certain places. I've also put some clouds on the back bit of the dock, just so it kind of matches the front. Um, I have painted like the sides, um, not as much as like the front, so I feel like I won't really see the sides and I didn't paint the back just because I didn't really see the point. Um, so yeah, I am really pleased with how it's come out. It was so hard to outline Evie because I've had the little, uh, all the little, spiky things on her mane. Pikachu wasn't too bad um, but yeah I'm super happy with how it's come out. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will also insert a clip of me putting on the new case for my actual switch because the one I've got on it now is ugly um, and then I'll show you it all together. I also forgot to mention that I did also seal the docking station using some Mod Podge in a matte finish. I did two coats of this and it just gave it a really nice semi-matte finish, kind of like a satin finish. This will also protect the paint and stop it from chipping. I don't think it would really chip that much anyway as it's not something I handle all of the time like the actual switch. So now I'm just going to put on the new case I got for the switch console. I got this from Amazon, it was about £17. It didn't have any reviews so I was a bit sceptical, however I couldn't find one of these cases for so long. All the ones I kept finding were the ones where you would have to take the whole switch apart, like remove the housing shell and then replace it and that just looked so daunting. So I'm so glad that I found this one, I will link it below if you're interested. So it just comes with a like a back plate that you clip on to the back, um, Joy-Con covers for the front and the back and then also some thumb grips. So I'm just going to take off my previous case. So the back bit clipped on really easy, that was no problem at all. Now I'm just putting on the Joy-Con covers, as you can see I've actually put it in the wrong way. I was wondering like, what is going on here, why is it not fitting in? So now I'm actually putting it in the, <laughs> the right one. Um, it, they were a little bit difficult to get in, but once it was clipped in, it was absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
fit the Joy-Con cover on the right joystick. Now I'm just putting on the front covers for the joystick. I did have a bit of a hard time getting these to clip in. I will say they don't like cover it fully. There is like a tiny little gap, but it's not something that really bothers me to some people. It may be annoying, but it doesn't really bother me and it still looks cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna clip those on and then I will put on the thumb grips. Is that what they're called? Thumb grips? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, just gonna put on the thumb grips now. At first I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get it to, to go over and then I realised, oh, I haven't even taken off my old ones. Silly me. So yeah, I'm just gonna take off the old ones and then put on the, the new ones. And I have to say that these are so difficult to get on. As you can see, I'm struggling like hell here. I did have to come off camera and do it just because it was taking me so long. So here it is all finished, the docking station has dried and I've got the new case on. Super happy with this case, it's nice and pastel, it's like a pink and blue gradient and I also love the little thumb caps. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, if you want to see more videos like this of me like custom painting things, please drop a comment below as there's so many other things that I can paint. Thank you so much for watching, bye!